Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose. Today is mail day. Today was initially going to be a go to the vintage house and do work day, but we are currently awaiting in the beginning of a winter storm. It's sleeting out pretty heavily right now, so we decided that we would like to see what treasures await us what more treasures await us at this vintage house it is probably best to stay home off the roads and enjoy a snow day though i don't get snow days <laughs> i will be working 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 but yes it is mail day today i have several packages one from our good friend buzz who fixed the radio that i found in the trash I will put his channel in my description below. Go over and check it out because he is a, a magician when it comes to fixing, restoring, repairing, and the history of old radios. Um, let's see, I wonder, uh, did I have any updates? I think just speaking on the vintage house, I've had a few people ask, you know, where's Taco Stacks? Why isn't Taco Stacks there? And Taco Stacks has been invited. He would have went today, but I'm not going, he's not going, Tony's not going, we're not going. <laughs> so hopefully one of the next days that we go, he'll be able to accompany us and help pack and also get some goodies for himself for the flea market. The jobs that I do with Tony, a lot of them are a, a bit of a distance away for Taco Stacks to drive. And also Taco Stacks has an uncanny way of being able to fill up his entire van at an auction for less than $30. He would not be able to do that on some of the jobs that we do or the picks that we do. Um, so his luck at auctions is just tremendous. <laughs> but hopefully with whenever we go to the vintage house next, he will be there. Uh, so for those that are asking. But let's get to the mail. And then right after this, I'm going to film another mail day. <laughs> Uh, that mail will be one package and that will be from our friend Steve down in Durham, North Carolina. If you're familiar with the items that Steve sends, then you will be uh, patiently, anxiously waiting uh, for that video to come out because it's a big box and I can only imagine what is inside. But let's get to today's mail. Oh, just to note, we brought out a um, little bobblehead pan. <sighs> Buzz had this made for me that's when my hair was really short i have it pulled back now so it looks somewhat similar but man i so miss that short hair if only my hair would grow fast then i would go back to short hair in an instant but it takes so long to grow so i have my my miss moose bobblehead to uh, reminisce on and of course we have little pam uh yes back to the mail this is from our friend Kathleen out in Forest Hill, Maryland. Seeing if there's, I feel a note. Enjoy your channel and thought of you when I saw this. Well, thank you, Kathleen. Oh, cool. Oh, this is so nice. Explore Yellowstone. Is this from Kohl's? It is, it's Sonoma, huh? That's a great, it's a thermal, like a thin thermal. I love it. That's awesome. I have noticed that places like Old Navy, Kohl's, and Target, they've had a lot more Yellowstone items. I almost wonder if that's because of that Yellowstone show, which I've not watched because I don't think I have access to the channel that it's on, though I have to watch it, but it's not filmed in Yellowstone. But anyway, Kathleen, thank you so much. I love this. I can add it to my Yellowstone clothing and save it for the next time I go to Yellowstone, which hopefully will be sooner than three years. I usually, my pattern seems to be every three years I go out there. So hopefully sooner than that. Thanks again, Kathleen. That was a great find. This little guy is from our friend Myra. Uh, she is known as Buying Space on YouTube. If you ever see her in any of the chat, she's in, in a lot of the other reseller lives. Um, so that's Myra Buying Space. She's from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's see what she writes. It looks like she has sent postcards. open open paper and moose uh this is a prize for my 500 sub giveaway now this was sent 
a little bit ago, so I'm sure a little bit ago, a little while ago, so I'm sure Myra has a lot more subscribers than that. Um, I watched your video on postcards and decided uh, to send it to you as friend mail. Myra. Well, thank you so much, Myra. Hope all is well in Florida. Ooh, greetings from Iowa. It's actually like a indie, indie song called Iowa. <laughs> I don't ask me who it is. Amana Colonies? Is that baloney? Amaya Amana Colonies meat shop. I haven't had bologna and cheese in a long time. Out here we get the ring bologna. There's a certain brand that's popular out in the Lehigh Valley area. These are all Iowa. The Midwest vacation land. I have not been to Iowa. Ooh, College of Veterinary Medicine. Who wouldn't want to work with little creatures all the time? Greetings from Nebraska. Hopefully in 2023 I will travel more and then bring you all with me. I probably should write down my list of goals in 2023 but <laughs> I still have my goals from 2020, 2021, 2019 to kind of figure out. Oh geez. Including that, that junk journal. I'll get to it eventually. And here we have greetings from Kansas with some, uh, I almost said clouds, cows. And then let's find one more. Greetings from Scott City, Kansas. Well, thank you, Myra. These are a nice little collection of postcards from the Midwest. Hope all is well with you down in Florida, and thank you so much. From another YouTube couple, uh, this is from Debbie and Max. Debbie and Max go thrifting. They traveled all over the summer. They've been back. I think they've been on a few auctions again uh, with Cajun Roots Reseller. I still have to pop in there sometime. It's been kind of busy for me lately between the... Well, I have a bunch of stuff I've been doing. Family stuff now with the holidays, getting my Christmas shopping done, and uh, storage auctions, the vintage house, even though we only get there like three hours once a week, that's a whole nother story. I'm just getting stuff done. So hopefully I'll be able to pop in on an auction sooner rather than later again. So yeah, Debbie and Max from Roanoke, Virginia. Scrap up. Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, there's the card. It was in between. Renee, when I saw the scrapbook going for a dollar each at an auction, I knew you would love them. Happy hunting, Debbie. A dollar each? I need to go down to your auction. Go down to all you, all of you seem to have like the most amazing auctions. Though in my auction videos, you say that you don't have those type of auctions out there. So I think it all, it is all in where you're at, what you're watching, what websites you're on, but a dollar. Uh oh, I'm scared. Oh, <gasps> they're baby cards. A gift for the baby. Oh, look at this. The, it's so funny how everyone back then took the time. This is from the 60s. Took the time to do this. My mom still has her baby album that my grandmother put together. Oh, and there's one with those little squirrels. And she did the same thing. We just don't do that now, I don't think. I think it's mostly all in those you know the fake scrapbooks that you make online that doesn't even have the real pictures in them um, that's probably because we don't take real photos most people don't take real photos anymore it's all on our phone and this is this is all lost i keep all the cards that i receive i still have all my birthday cards christmas cards etc <laughs> these are adorable Oh my gosh, look at this elephant one. There's even more shoved in the back that they didn't paste. But this one, what a name for an elephant. This is Bimbo, and he's known amongst the elephants as the best one in the circus at doing funny stunts. <laughs> he's so cute. Maybe in 2023, I'll get to my idea of these cards. That's another project. But wait, there's more, a dollar. 
Oh, these are they're even more. More on your new baby. So they follow from when the baby was born all the way up to, oh, there's a Christmas, oh, Christmas ones, get me. All the way up to their, you know, their early years. Cute niece, four-year-old. Nowadays, if you want a number card for a child, they're filled with your classic, you know, Frozen, Anna and Elsa, Paw Patrol, Mickey's still on there, Buzz Lightyear. So I guess, you know, they're just clinging on to what's popular amongst kids these days, but these are so well, thank you again, Debbie and Max. These are wonderful. Hope that you have a great holiday and hope to see you on the YouTubes. <laughs> I guess that's what people say. See you on the YouTubes. <laughs> Hopefully pop into one of the auctions soon. All right. This is from Russell and Teresa out in, is that Sod? Sod, West Virginia. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to feel the card. Don't think I feel one. I feel something. Oh, I see the card. There's a sweater and it looks really cute. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Renee, we found this cute sweater, told you, <laughs> at an estate sale and thought you would uh, love it for one of your dolls or moose. I think it is too large for Pam. Sorry, Pam. Uh, keep up the good work. We wish you a successful career. Your love for vintage is great. We love Mail Day seeing all the goodies you receive. P.S. The two the things in the two plastic bags were in drawers of old sewing machines we bought at some estate sale. I think you will love one of them. LOL. Uh, Teresa and Russell. Well, first let's get to the sweater because how, oh my gosh, how adorable is this? It is red, green, and like a is that purple purple but then there are little i'm gonna call them poinsettia flower poinsettia flowers uh it's an angel a little angel original this will look cute hung up on a little wooden hanger next to some of my christmas stockings which i still have to hang up it's pretty bad but i still have some christmas decorating to do i've been so busy this is adorable i would totally have picked this up if I went to an estate sale. Look how cute this is. It is a little big for Pam, but I think that is just darling. How adorable. All right, and there's also some books. Julie Harrington. Got this book out in the estate auction a few, year, a few years back. I know you will love it. Julia Harrington by Richard Bissell. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Although fiction, Julia Harrington in A Strange and Wonderful Way is more real than recorded history. History. Julia is age 12 going on 13 in the year 1913. She tells her own story through her memories, impressions, heart and mind in her own special language. Oh, how interesting. So it's almost like a scrapbook fictional book because there are, here are the teachers at Prescott Grammar School. So she lists them, but then there are like, there's old ads and everything. Don't forget to drink your milk, milk deer. Oh wow, this is really cool. How neat. Hires root beer ad. On Sunday, Millie Flanagan was sick, so when Mama and Arnold and I went off the church, Mama put the roast in the oven and told Papa when to take it out. That's gonna be really fun to read. And look at the old ads. It's like ephemera in a book. Well, that happens a lot. <laughs> and then we have Christmas keepsakes. Uh, this reminds me, oh, of the ideal books. Oh, these are how to make them. Oh. My one aunt was, uh, I mean, she could do these in like a day. She was great at all the needlepoint, Afghans. Add that to my list. <laughs> and then we have a few things. So all the little things that are inside the sewing. Yes, I mean, at estate sales, look in those drawers, look everywhere. So we have a whole bunch of needle packs. And there's some buttons. 
buttons in their original packaging. These star, star snaps, which I absolutely love. I think they would look cool in a junk journal, which I have yet to make. And then we have this needle point that someone started. I believe it's needle point. And there's one more item. Where did it go? Here. Looks like perhaps a pattern of sorts. It looks like a bunny. Is this to make a stuffed bunny? It is. It's a bunny pattern to make your own. Oh my gosh. It's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Look how adorable. Twenty twenty three. Here you come. Oh my gosh. This looks fairly simple to make. I mean, it's right. Making the bunny. Sew all darts. The bunny's body is made of three pieces. Cut slashes, thread a large heavy needle with string or rug cotton, attach light. Okay, we're gonna do this. We have to make a bunny. And I have vintage fabric to do so. Well, thank you so much, Russell and Teresa. These are lovely little appropriate, time appropriate gifts with the Christmas remembered future 2023 project and reading Julia Harrington and learning about what life was like in 1913. Turning a teenager in like 1913. What was that like? I don't think I'd want to be a teenager today in today's world. Um, but yeah, that's, that would be interesting study to see what it was like turning 13 and you know, the different years. There has to be a book out there about that already. There has to be. Thanks again, Russell and Teresa. Well, last but not least, we have the package from our friend Buzz. Out in Aloha, Oregon. Aloha. <laughs> uh, hi, Miss Moose here. Some vintage Valentine's and some World War II postcards, plus a, plus a few more goodies for Christmas. The 80s candy is from Dickel. If you do not know who Dickel is, I do not want to spoil it. So again, you will have to check out Buzz's channel. And I'm supposed to go on a New Year's Eve date with Dickel, but I think that's a few years away. I hope. <laughs> Tell him I think the weather's going to be bad this year. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, World War II boot camp postcards. These three to the same girl. These are so funny, the illustrations they have. The last guy, the guy that's always the last lineup for Reverie. Camp Snapshots. Uh, dearest, I don't, what's that name? Relly? I think the girl's name is Relly. I left for a half hour ago and I already write you bravo <laughs> I left a half hour ago and I already wrote you bravo um oh I miss you more than ever and I'll always love you I'm abs um absolutely I'm already wanting to see you next Saturday Henry Hi, Relly. Just a word to let you know that I am taking good care of Henry, and Henry is taking good care of me. So this is from his friend. His friend even wrote to the guy's girlfriend. All the boys envy Henry because he has such a wonderful girl who sends him so many letters. Oh, now I'm going to have to see what happened to Henry. <laughs> Plus, I still have... Oh, my God. I still have the the eBay find of the year that Buzz sent me and all the research that I have to do on that. Like 2020, 2023, I, I don't like saying that, but 
I think I, I do need to, you know, say, okay, Mondays, it's research day. No matter what else I have to do, what videos have to get edited, Monday is just research. I haven't even done a history behind the paper video in a few, a few weeks, I think, maybe a month. And I don't like that because that's my favorite. I love those videos. I love researching. Do they get lots of views? No, but I do them because I love them. And uh, that's why I do them. And I know that many of you like them too. So now I have this to add to it. Buzz, buzz, buzz. World War II boot camp postcards. These have writing on the back too. Hi folks, I'm in the aircraft core and liking it very much. It's all swell with plenty to, plenty to do. To Carl from Ted. <laughs> so they're in a foxhole and there's like fire going on around them. And the bottom says, reminds me of the time I forgot to give my gal a birthday present. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Buzz, you outdid yourself. Okay. Bit nubs and broomsticks. Poor Angela Lansbury. That was sad. This is the Enchanted Musical Edition. Ooh, it has Backstage Disney, The Wizards of Special Effects. Great, my top five Disney movies. Look at all these guys. Oh, these are adorable. You can find my heart blindfolded. <laughs> oh, is he handing her a pig? He's giving her a pig. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you squeal, my eyes are bad. It's the lighting that's bad. I It looks nice and bright on the camera, but it is really dark in here. <laughs> if you squeal on me, dear Valentine, my secret's out. You're for me and I love you a lot. Oh man, this is love. If you gave this to a kid in elementary school now, like you'd have to make sure that you like were really good friends with them for it to say love the back then. Oh my gosh. If a Valentine gave me a little pig, I would be happy with that. It's a creature. <laughs> and here's some more. Um oh. Um melancholy without you and it's a watermelon these are adorable put those on a shirt put them all on a shirt i have a valentine valentine's day card shirt line in my dreams old time candy oh man tell dickle I've always wanted one of these. So, ah, come on. Oh, and there's a shirt, no way. <gasps> Is this real? You're not gonna believe this. It's Belina from the Return to Oz. Buzz, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's Bo Belina. It's her chicken. I follow Return to Oz on eBay. So whenever someone lists something that's Return to Oz, I, I see it. Because in the off chance, someone lists something for really, really cheap. But I think the last, few days or weeks there's been someone that I don't know where they got them they got returned to us toys in the original package from Japan and the prices were unbelievable like I've I only come across the books the puzzles and I think that's it in my finding return to Oz things so to come across those toys this is awesome no one else is going to have a Belina shirt. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do her voice because Belina has a really neat voice. That's so cool, Buzz. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. 
I can't wait to wear that. <laughs> and now from Dickel, a two pound decade candy gift box. We're gonna open this baby up. You know what, when I had, when we had the 80s party, I remembered, and my cousin finally remembered, there used to be this gum, and it came in this, it looked like a tiny milk carton. And it were, they were really small pieces, almost like chiclets. Chiclets are amazing. But, and the one, the best one was the pink lemonade. It was so good. <laughs> Sugar high today. <gasps> yes. Candy buttons. <laughs> I should be the spokesperson for candy buttons. Oh my gosh, these are great. Warheads. Oh my gosh, Pop Rocks. I never tried putting soda in my mouth when I have Pop Rocks in. Oh, look at this little sticker. Oldtimecandy.com. Not a paid advertisement. <laughs> oh, my favorite. I absolutely love Reese's. I think Reese's pieces are my favorite candy. And then it would be, let's just say the Reese's peanut butter line. Ugh. Oh my gosh, Nick Lips. Okay. These honestly, I mean these people, that, the company that makes this had a genius idea because you really just, I don't eat the wax. I've never eaten the wax. Like the wax like fangs and like witch lips and stuff you could get for Halloween. People would chew, eat them. I don't know how. Maybe we weren't even supposed to. But yeah, Nick Lips, you just... Tear off the top and then drink the stuff inside. Oh my gosh, a whatchamacallit. I haven't had one of these in years. They're so good though. <gasps> Rollos. Oh man. Christmas, winter, wait, here I go. <laughs> what are these? Are these sprees? <gasps> Bottle caps? Ooh, cow tails. Oh, cow tails are so good. Oh my gosh, caramello. There was a girl in elementary school, at every lunchtime, she had caramellos. Every single lunch, she had caramellos. Sour Patch Kids. <gasps> Here they are! I told you! Put, putting pancakes, pizza pie. He is whacked about, wacko about food. But these wax lips are what put Pete's in the best mood? Does it say you can eat these? Let's see. Ingredients, refined wax for nutritional and more food information. Play now, chew later. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, airheads, lemon heads, oh yeah. Candy cigarettes. This is so cool, Ever. oh my gosh. Okay, we have everlasting gobstoppers. The ring pop. Laffy Taffy, that's a huge one. Oh, this is a little like, um, oh, it's a bubblegum stick. Oh, bubblegum flavored stick. Again, one of the best inventions, a candy necklace. But then we have some crybabies and then these beauties. Nerds, nerds were such great. They still are great candy. Oh, this is so much fun. Well, thank you, Dickel. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna, I'll get a snack on these later. Probably have some Nick Lips. But the Rolos, I haven't had a Rolo in a long time. But these, I think we're gonna preserve these in the, um, the packaging. So in another 40 years, they're gonna be vintage. <laughs> 40, 20, 20 years will be, 20 years will be vintage. They'll probably stay good till then too. Oh, wow. Thank you so much Buzz for the postcards, which I'll have to research. The Valentine's to add to my future ideas. The candy, which will get me through all the work that I have to do. And I mean, this Bellina shirt, this is amazing. <laughs> love it oh my gosh thank you so much and uh, just thank you to everyone for watching and for supporting the channel oh can't forget Ben on broomsticks top five Disney movies thank you again for that buzz but yes thank you to everyone 
I always feel so honored um, with everything that you so kindly send to me or the stories that you share online in the chat. And it is crazy just how the world of YouTube is just so wide. And there are people from all over who come together and join together over a common thing such as vintage stuff or history and just the kindness that is out there uh, when there is so much going on in the world and in your own hometowns and it's nice to see that there are still really really kind generous gracious people out there and uh, they're in my chats and they're watching my videos and they're sending me this amazing mail. So thank you. Thank you to everyone. I hope that as we get uh, closer to the holiday season, uh, it's going to be hustle and bustle. People are, be, people are going to be doing things last minute, out and about, so stay safe, be careful, enjoy the time with your family, friends, perhaps just time off from work, time to sit back, relax, watch some shows on TV, catch up on some reading, work on your projects, <laughs> and uh, just take this time to enjoy uh, this winter season. So thank you again. I'm going to have some candy to eat. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I will be really excited once that sugar hits. <laughs> thank you to all. Stay tuned for the next mail day video from Steve. Uh, who knows what is in that box? Who knows? Thanks again. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all next time for the next adventure or next mail day at Paper and Moon.